Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thursday, the 3rd of November, 2022, of the 31st week in Ordinary Time, is the optional memorial of St. Martin de Porres, Religious. Thomas A. Kempis, Imitation of Christ. Grant me, O Lord, to know what I ought to know, to love what I ought to love, to praise that which is most pleasing to Thee, to esteem that which appeareth to Thee valuable, to abhor that which is filthy in Thy sight. Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, let your light dispel the darkness that what is lost may be found and restored. Let your light shine through me that others may see your love and truth and find hope and peace in you. May I never doubt your love nor take for granted the mercy you have shown to me. Fill me with your transforming love that I may be merciful as you are merciful. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word Martin was born in Lima, Peru in 1579. As a person of mixed ancestry, he was at the bottom of the social ladder and he joined the Dominican convent as a lay servant. Within a few years, the prior permitted Martin to take vows as a brother. Martin fed around 160 people each day with the alms he collected. He fasted and prayed with abandon. When the convent needed to pay a debt, Martin humbly offered himself, I'm only a poor mulatto, sell me. Upon his death in 1639, the great personages of Lima came to pay their respects. Martin de Porres was canonized in 1962 as the patron of social justice. The Epistle But whatever gains I had, I even consider as a loss because of Christ. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians Chapter 3, verse 3. Brothers and sisters, we are the circumcision, we who worship through the Spirit of God, who boast in Christ Jesus and do not put our confidence in flesh, although I myself have grounds for confidence even in the flesh. If anyone else thinks he can be confident in flesh, all the more can I, circumcised on the eighth day of the race of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrew parentage, in observance of the law, a Pharisee, in zeal I persecuted the church, in righteousness based on the law I was blameless. But at whatever gains I had, these I have come to consider a loss because of Christ. More than that, I even consider everything as a loss because of the supreme good of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 105 Responsorial Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. Sing to Him, sing His praise, proclaim all His wondrous deeds. Glory in His holy name, rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. Look to the Lord in His strength, seek to serve Him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that He has wrought, His portents, and the judgments He has uttered. 
Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, son of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth his judgments prevail. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia The Gospel There will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 15, verse 1. The tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus, but the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So Jesus addressed this parable to them. What man among you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, would not leave the ninety-nine in the desert and go after the lost one until he finds it? And when he does find it, he sets it on his shoulders with great joy, and upon his arrival home, he calls together his friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found my lost sheep. I tell you, in just the same way there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous people who have no need of repentance. Or what woman having ten coins and losing one would not light a lamp and sweep the house, searching carefully until she finds it? And when she does find it, she calls together her friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found the coin that I lost. In just the same way I tell you, there will be rejoicing among the angels of God over one sinner who repents. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation I have found my lost sheep. Luke Chapter 15, verse 6. If you want a snapshot of what radiates from the heart of God, His love, His kindness, His persistence, you just have to reflect on today's Gospel reading. In Jesus' two parables, we see a God who will go out into the wilderness and turn things upside down in order to bring His lost ones home. We know this to be true because each of us has seen and heard about people whose lives were radically changed when they turned to the Lord. Though the stories differ in the details, they all have a common thread. They show us a God who loves them fiercely enough to pursue them through all of life's circumstances. They also tell us that our God isn't just concerned about the person who has it all together. He goes after the far off, the confused, the rebellious, and the forsaken. Think of the man who grew up with gang violence and committed devastating crimes. God finds him behind bars. Or the woman who lives on the streets and is addicted to drugs. God finds her in a shelter heals her emotional wounds, and frees her from her addiction. Or the atheist millionaire who seems to have everything but can't escape a feeling of emptiness. God finds him when he is alone in his office and gives him a new vision for his life. Our Father sent Jesus into the world to rescue us from the dominion of darkness and brings us into his kingdom of light. Colossians chapter 1 verse 13. That means that God won't ever stop pursuing us. He wants all of his children to enjoy his love and to experience the healing and freedom that he offers. 
This is true for us, and it's true for our families, our friends, our neighbors, and our co-workers. It's even true for the person you'd least expect to turn to Him. Today, let's rest in the confidence of a God who loves us more than we can fathom. He will go after the one lost sheep when ninety-nine are safe, and He rejoices with all the saints and angels in heaven when He finds Him. Luke chapter 15, verse 7 If He has done this for so many before us, Surely he will continue to do it until the end of time. Lord, bring home all those who are lost and confused, especially the people I am praying for right now. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May his peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.